Recording is in progress, so we can uh, kick off. Um, I know that uh, there is um, at this moment maybe not so many participants, but does not matter because the session has been recorded, will be recorded now. And um, welcome to our special uh, two weekly um, presentation again. And this session is especially in English. So uh, the, the thing is that uh, every, yeah, every um, two weeks we do English session and next week on Monday we do again uh, the Dutch uh, version. So um, as I said uh, to everyone, welcome everyone. Uh, to join this session again and um, I think we need some 20-25 minutes uh, for the session and if you have some questions feel free to join. I will um, show the screen, screen one that is visible I hope. Okay I think this is here. Um, the crypto bubbles um, you can see here the performance of last year it was not good, of course. Uh, the market has been hammered uh, due to uh, many um, uh, scandals also with uh, Terra Luna and also with FTX. And um, it resulted in a down market uh, in total of um, many coins like uh, Ethereum and BTC. Ethereum even more, almost 70% lower, BTC 64% lower, BNB. Um, 50% lower since the beginning of last year. And Cardano also 80% XRP and Deutsch also. So of course that is not um, not nice. But we have to deal with it. And I think also for new year, we can find some new, uh, new buying opportunities again. Although uh, we have to wait for the market sentiment uh, much more to, uh, to improve. And if I take a glimpse on the fear and greed index of alternative me, um, it will not surprise me if um, the market is uh, now still in negative territory, range bound in between 22 and 30. Uh, last month, the fear factor was uh, 27. Last week, 28. Yesterday was fear, also 26, and now 27. So stabilizing between um, around 25. So this, of course, not um, good, but uh, we can also say that it's a good because it's not going more down. Um, if you can see the chart at this moment, uh, I think so. I think that the chart of the, um, the crypto market is still visible, I hope. Uh, so the crypto coin cap, uh, we can see around with the total market cap range bounding, ranging around uh, I see some people entering. Okay, total is now $767 billion and that is uh, the total market cap. This is a weekly chart and we are in the beginning. Yeah, we are at the same level as last year, more or less, at the same level. So we are back uh, from the beginning. And um, now, what I also notice is that uh, there is now a flatliner with um, the Luna crash. We touched a low around 750, uh, not even. Yeah, 762 billion, a peak, 1.2. Now at the lower range again, at the trading range, 780 billion. Uh, the total market, excluding BTC, this is also the same pattern. Whereas you can also see that uh, the market is testing the lows of 426 billion. Uh, Pull close also for the Hodo portfolio, I added some basic uh, top 10 coins and to the portfolio and uh, but only for a small um, portion is uh, $50 uh, each. 
and every week I am um, adding some positions as well. Um, so the total market cap is not convincing yet, although there is a very little green shoot, but uh, that um, must cannot have a very big name. When we take a look at the price chart of uh, of BTC, it's consolidating around 17,000. And as you can see, it's here um, already yeah, more than one month. Not one month, I think even two months already consolidating. And that is elaborating um, the sell-off of the FTX fall. So that is uh, remarkable that the market is now flat, uh, basically. And we are at this waiting uh, to be uh, ready for the next jump. And the next jump could lead to the 20,000, but um, it's not convincing yet. Uh, the Bitcoin related to the Bitcoin dominance, the Bitcoin dominance of Bitcoin, there has also risen uh, again, the recent uh, month from 40% towards the higher end of 42%. Also range bound, that means that the market became um, a game on the pressure and the Bitcoin hold steady, held steadily. Um, and that's why the Bitcoin dominance is now 40%, 42%. And Ethereum also is a little bit 19 or 20 percent Bitcoin or Ethereum dominance, 19.4. And Ethereum is the second biggest coin now consolidating around 1200 bucks. Also, not convincing, and it is also waiting for a jump to the upside. So, that is this is not convincing, it's in a triangle area. Uh, where the higher end of the trading range is uh, 2,000, the lower end is 900, and somewhere in the middle we can see here around uh, 1,400, 1,500 mid-range. Also consolidating below that uh, 1,400, so it's also not that uh, positive. Um, <coughs> I've seen also a remarkable jump actually on uh, LTC, Litecoin, USDT, and that is here. The jump uh, today also 8%. You, you can see it also has been hammered from 500, uh, also 90% lower almost, more than 90% lower, now ranging um, and consolidating about uh, around $75. Uh, this could also be a very interesting coin. Uh, this is also the brother of uh, Bitcoin. And um, could be that uh, this would be the target of 100. Uh, for uh, your information, I bought it also today again for $50. And um, yeah, here says something. Um, it's very remarkable. There is a kind of... Um, Michael Burry gives his prediction for 2023. Here's the crypto might react. It's quite interesting because Michael Burry was uh, famous of the big short. I don't know if you have seen this. Um, uh, if, if you have seen the big short, uh, the subprime crisis it was very interesting uh, movie actually. And uh, I was put a link about his prediction for you. You can take a look yourself. And that is, uh, you can take a look. Um, inflation rate hike, yeah, not so much about uh, the, uh, not, not so much talk about the cryptos. And also this one, Bitcoin. Bitcoin related news also uh, fresh from the press. Afternoon was 1539. I think it's uh, just uh, recently published. You can also read this uh, article about the bullish uh, or the bearish or bullish uh, statements for Bitcoin. Um, okay, th so this is um, another way to take a look at the um, crypto market, the cryptocurrencies, total cryptocurrency market. 
What's also remarkable is that the total amount of cryptocurrency is now above 22,000 uh, in the meantime. That means that crypto is not dead. Um, in contrary, the crypto market is only steadily expanding. And here you can see the market cap is arranging um, and consolidating around 800 billion. Um, you can also see that the um, volume is not that high. It's on the lower end. But the top 10 nowadays consists of Bitcoin and Ethereum, of course, number one and two, and the smaller coins, BNB, XRP, Binance, USD, and Dogecoin, Cardano, and Polygon, Matic. These are the top 10 coins. And another way to take a look at uh, the market is also interesting. That is, um, this one not. Uh, this is. Uh, we'll take a look. Coin three sixty. This one, coin three sixty. This is um another. <coughs> excuse me. Another um view of the market. Take a look at uh, the performance of the last seven days. So since the previous um. Uh, updates in Dutch, you can see a little bit steady around this level, not too much movements, plus 1%, minus 1%, so there's not much going on. And here you can also see that uh, the dominance of Bitcoin is around 40%, the Ethereum is the biggest, second biggest, 20% almost, BNB. And the market cap of the USDC, USDT, the stable coins are also quite uh, high. And um, but what is also very interesting for me, I think, is the Solana. And if you take a look at the, the chart of Solana, um, there was a big spike today as well of um, around uh, yeah, 10, 13, 15% even. I mean, if to take a look where. And the trading view is it got stuck a little bit. Why? Trading view. Trading view. This is the chart. Okay, here's the chart. Okay. So when I switch from LC to Solana, this is also a very nice uh, coin to watch yet. And USDT. Solana dropped also in, in um, because of the FTX and debacle, of course. And uh, now it touched the beginning of 2021, it was here. Level of uh, six, seven dollars. Now also eleven dollars, and here you can see a spike down. This is the weekly chart. If I go to the daily chart, and I would like to take a look at this uh, with the moving averages in place. <coughs> it's consolidating around and below this level. But if uh, Solana is uh, breaking up to the upside above $12, there we can find some um, breakout uh, opportunities uh, to the upside. And on the four hour chart, maybe you can see some improvement. Yeah, you can see on the four hour chart, it's now trying to break out to the upside. And if you are a trader for the shorter term, here you can see uh, 13 was a short and long around this level. So you're not too late to add some position if you don't have sold in um, at this moment. You could take a look if you can pick up some uh, sold again. Um, what was also interesting to note is that um, it was $500 million inflow. Uh, and there was the market cap crashed more than 1 billion in the last seven days. And the decentralized finance, DeFi currency has risen 
back over 11 mark, 11 dollars is that, you can see the, the chart. And there was kind of um, interesting uh, thing to see. This is, uh, there are technical indicators. I think this is also on trading view with a few oscillators. And uh, it's neutral to buy to strong buy, summary moving average. So the moving average is a strong buy. Does that surprise me because I showed also today that the market is now uh, above um, this level. But the thing is that uh, Solana is also an um, NFT platform, of course. And <coughs> what was also interesting, there was uh, the price increased more than 10%, more than 15% even uh, during the day. And it was because um, there was one coin, there was a token Bonk, B-O-N-K, uh, B O N K. Uh, again, as an avatar in the form of dog, there. Those are the rules of the game. The name of the token refers to a famous meme, and is probably the first meme coin on Solana to make such a splash. Bonk volumes in the last 24 hours have grown more than 6,500 percent, and its price almost by 100 percent. And Bonk is, uh, I think, wrapped in ETH, so it's not in dollars but in Ethereum. At the same time, the token is starting to be accepted by various marketplaces. Solana as payment and Solana Foundation had some strategy. In communications, Austin Federa admits that he has always loved some dog money. <laughs> okay, but you have to be um, yeah, you have to be careful uh, with these kind of uh, coins. But if you want to know what this uh, coin is, you can take a look uh, at a coin market cap. And then to B O N K, it is here. B O N K. I cannot search it that quick because the search field is not good. But Solana is one uh, coin to take a look, uh, close look at B O N K. And that is wrapped in ETH, I hope. But, um, Wrapped ETH, you see? Hmm, okay. Yeah, this is a very strange. Oh, Punk W8 Ethereum chart. The thing is, this is not in dollars. Oh, here it's in dollars, but uh, it's not calculated. Ah, okay, here on. Um, this is uh, framed into the into the market cap, I think. Okay, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> anyway, um, bottom line is that Solana is uh, rising out of the death. So maybe there could be some more in place. So let's hope for the best. And Solana, uh, I will put the price again here. <laughs> Sol is here. And so if you uh, would like to bet on Solana between 11 and 12 is good, but uh, above the 12, we have more um, breakout opportunities to the upside. Um, concerning the Bitcoin, that is, um, if you take a look at Bitcoin treasuries, actually, Bitcoin treasuries, there was some rumor not rumor, but uh, we can see here, uh, this is interesting. Look, the amount, total amount of Bitcoin is here of micro strategy on the 32,500. And uh, before it was 130,000, eh? if you remember well. I'm not sure if I can take a look uh, on the chart. On balance, they purchased more. They also sold some Bitcoin. It was for tax reasons, and they bought again. And you, here you can see a small uptick. Mm. Increase. Decrease. It's price. So the green one 
is the increase. So they increased the holdings. Ah, okay. Interesting. You see that um, on a regular basis, they buy a Bitcoin. And this is also a very big, uh, uh, <coughs> a big player. And I was also things going on with the stock market, the price of, of MicroStrategy. MicroStrategy, this MSTR, I think. And MicroStrategy. MicroStrategy. NASDAQ. This one. Look, it has been hammered. Also more than 50% lower. Um, and now uh, they, uh, the stock price bottoming. And here there is some, uh, let's take a look. Here it says, MicroStrategy stock hits low point in two years after selling some Bitcoin. But the thing is that uh, they bought also Bitcoins. This is a little bit strange. Yeah, and the Michael uh, Saylor, uh, he was stating in 2020 uh, that um, we feel pretty confident that Bitcoin is less risky than holding cash, less risky than holding gold. And now we, with the sliding value of Bitcoin, selling off its holdings may generate tax, a tax benefit as a company plans to carry back the capital losses resulting from trades against previous capital gains. So <coughs> it's a sell and buyback uh, game. And that is, um, yeah, that is uh, interesting to see how they are operating. But anyway, um, on balance, they added coins. As you can see from 130 to 132,500. So this is interesting. And uh, the other coins, uh, if you can, of other parties, Marathon. I don't know if it is being updated. No, it's not updated. Yeah, it's updated, but here, June 30. So they, they did not add more. Maybe some other uh, Tesla is uh, decreasing, of course. Hot mining block. Not if I have. 8,000, around 8,000. I'm curious what they did now. They did not accumulate so since 2021. So the biggest play, I think the biggest players to watch it is uh, still MicroStrategy. Um, now coming into the 2023, uh, there's also the halving, of course, and then the stock to flow model. Also interesting to take a look at. Yeah, it's uh, of course still the same. Around hundred thousand uh, dollars is the model price, as we can see, and it's now 2023, 2024. Theoretical price 116. The low price is here um, ten thousand. The um, and now it's trading around seventeen thousand. So it's um. Traded at a hefty discount, so we have to take a look if it's uh, good. Um, when we take a look at the main coins, I want to take a look at the crypto. Mm. What I want to see is the network of the Bitcoin. Right. blockchain i think here it dropped uh, last week because of the blizzards last week in the northern part of uh, united states and the um, hash rate in total hash rate in uh, millions of uh, terror hashes i think i don't know why it's not loading but it must also be uh, good google We'll find out.
take a look at the charts. Hmm. Why chart? I I will take a look at the Y charts. Maybe it's loading better. <laughs> it's loading, okay. You see the dip was last week, uh, was 160 million terahashes now back to normal again, 272 million. And it was because of uh, the power outages. Uh, more than one and a half million people were out of uh, power last week in the United States. And uh, the other date is not uh, good, of course. But last say, six months, you can uh, see uh, the glitch. So that means that uh, the higher the hash rate is, the, the better it is. And because the more secure a network is. So that is. Uh, interesting metric to take a look at. So that's important to uh, to know. Um, what's in for now? Um, OK, the inflation, what is also good to take a look at is a close look at um, forexfactory.com. And why? Because of uh, the inflation numbers. And this week, we have to take a look at um, inflation figures. And they, the, in uh, Europe is the German CPI this tomorrow. Next week, there are more CPIs, I think. Uh, Friday is a uh, non-farm payrolls is very important at uh, 2.30. CET, and most important are the CPI figures, of course. And CPI numbers will be published uh, in the United States. I've read somewhere United States, USA. A core at uh, the red one, you see the on Thursday CPI, very important uh, figure. So next Thursday at 2.30, so next week, the 12th. But it's not now. But take a close watch at um, the inflation because as we could also see, there was very big correlation between <coughs> um, <laughs> the stock market, CPI, uh, inflation figures, also how the market reacted and the crypto market. Um, so if there's other some questions, otherwise I would like to round it off and to call it a night. Um, next week will be the Dutch version again uh, of this session at 8 CET, 8 uh, in the evening. And um, I wish you, of course, from this place, a very healthy and prosperous 2023. And I hope with very good uh, health and also, of course, very um, good luck and prosperity on the crypto markets as well. I wish you a very pleasant night. Thank you for watching. And I see you later uh, next time, next week. Thank you very much for your attention. And I will switch off the recording now. I'm curious. Um, at this